So we had Andrew Brandt on in our number one colleague of yours. And he's like, I need to see the contract before I believe Aaron Rodgers is uh, attached at the Packers hip for the rest of his career, that this might just be essentially a cap clearing um, solution to him running yeah. it back one more time with Devonte Adams for him to get to his free, you know, walk, if you will, year that he negotiated to come back last year. What do you think? Well, I mean, I, the one thing I had heard was that there were, and, and you know, like I, I know, um, you know, there was the idea out there that this would be a four-year deal. I heard it was four new years. And that's interesting to me because um, if, if it's four new, new years, that means it's a five-year deal, right. you know, essentially. And that number is the magic number. Five years is the max that you can spread that bonus money out over, right? So that's being done for a reason. And a lot of times, like those five-year deals, will have phony years in the back end. So, you know, when I when I heard that it wasn't just uh, it wasn't a four-year deal, it was a four-year extension. Mm -hmm. Like that popped in my head. Okay, like are there phone, phony years in the back end that are designed to spread the cap hit out? I, I think it's Aaron's intention to finish his career in Green Bay. I don't have any reason to think otherwise. I think he's got an appreciation for the guys he plays with, and all the rest of it. Like I think this is a big. I mean, I mean to me, like. This is happening because of Aaron Rodgers' relationships, because he felt as strongly as, about the people in that locker room as he has at any point in his career. He fixed his relationships with good with Murphy, and his relationships always been good with Murph with uh, with Lafleur. You know, but like if there are those you know phony years in the back of his deal, then yeah, you ha you would have to think about it. And hey, if I'm the Packers, here's the other part of it: like Tampa did that with a bunch of contracts to create a two-year window with Tom Brady. Wouldn't you say they would say it was worth it now? Oh, yeah. Like, even if they have to tear it down, they won a championship. So, like, if this means creating a two- or a three-year window with Aaron Rodgers and maybe he walks after that, like, I, if I'm the Packers, that's that's 100% worth it to go and, and chase another championship when you haven't won one in, what is it, 12 years now? It's been 12 years since they won that first one with Aaron Rodgers. Wow. So you think we're back in like the story of the new league year of 2023 is going to be where Rogers free agency no, tour goes? I I'm mean, not saying that. I don't think so. No, I, I mean, like, I, again, like I, I have no, I have no, like uh, I've, never, I've heard nowhere that like, this is like the precursor to Rogers saying goodbye again. Uh, but I mean, you can look at their roster, you know what I mean? Like, and say, like, yeah, like there's a very real two year window. You can look at David Bakhtiari's age, and Devontae Adams age, and, you, know, you can look at like how that's a really great football situation now, but, you know, but two, three years down the line, it might look a little bit different based on how some of these contracts are built. And by the way, here's the other thing. I mean, these guys can always force their way out. I mean, that's the one thing that we're learning now, right? Like Russell Wilson didn't really have to do anything. Like he could just sit on, sit on his hands and let it happen. Um, that's becoming more common now as quarterbacks sort of accumulate more power. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.